Hello YouTube, this is FTV here for FTV Productions of course and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create a very very cool looking um, glint effect you could also call it the highlight effect or the glow effect, whatever you want to call it but it's going to look something like this and that looks so perfect, you can even use it as a profile picture so let's get started, what I'm going to do is go to file, new, create a new document which is 500 by 500 pixels and okay and uh, that looks so beautiful there itself with all the white stuff there and uh, I forget the jokes so what we first do is double click on the background to you know unlock it click on OK and I'll ch take this foreground color right here and I will change it to maybe here OK and then we click and hold on the gradient tool select the paint bucket tool and paint it boom perfect we select the text tool and uh, we type in whatever we want to for this example we're just gonna type in FTV and uh, what I'll do is I'll add a slight gradient overlay so we just right click blending options go to gradient overlay and uh, we just flip these and instead of white, we're gonna have something gray stored here. And instead of black, we're gonna have something gray as well. Just like this. Okay, okay, okay. And our text looks good there. And remember, I'm not working very hard because it's just a tutorial, as I have told you so many times. All right. So as usual, uh, not as usual. We're gonna click Control and minus to zoom out. And we're gonna zoom out maybe till here. The next thing we're going to do is select, click and hold this marquee tool, rectangular marquee tool, and we're going to select the elliptical marquee tool. And basically, uh, oops, sorry, we're going to create a new layer first, and then use the marquee tool to make a selection. And I'm going to just make it uh, maybe like this. The selection looks good. And uh, then what we're going to do is. Uh, remember you uh, if you created the new layer it's really, really important and the next thing we're going to do is select this foreground color and change that to white and click on alt plus backspace to fill it in and then the next step is the easiest one change the opacity to around 20 percent and hit control D to deselect and boom you have your very own glint effect and this can be done usually with anything you want for example you can use it to highlight a glass effect you, are, you will be doing so uh, probably you're making a glass and you want to make it more glassy you can use this effect and uh, this effect can be really useful for creating YouTube backgrounds and uh, you can make a glint going from here to here and uh, that looks pretty cool and um, yeah so that's that and that's all I wanted to show you hope you enjoyed this tutorial please comment like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching dudes and remember to subscribe bye